What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to episode number 7 of our Pokemon Why I Want A Lot Going Down on the channel as of late. So in the last episode being episode number 6, uh, what we did was we made our way through Route 4. Um, kind of just cruised through, skip, skipped a couple of trainers as you guys would have saw in the grinding montage. We uh, cleaned up that route and um, we also made our way to Sycamore's lab and had a bit of story go down there, a bit of uh, Pokemon Y story. And then after we beat Sycamore, we got to choose a starter to want to trade off, which I chose Bulbasaur, which kind of sucked because we ended up getting the Venusaurite, as you guys, as you guys may or may not know, you just get given that um, to go with your starter that you chose, which we should have chose Squirtle, so we could have got the Blastoise out, so we could have had a Mega Blastoise, which sucks. It really, it really sucks. But. That is okay, so we want to trade off the Bulbasaur, and then we got a Ponyta. So, I'm like, oh, we can't have two fire types on the team, so I boxed Flare the Fennekin, and then we kept Ponyta as our fire type, just because you don't really see too much of Ponyta, and Ponyta has a really cool shiny as well, so, I don't know, it is what it is. But in today's episode, we're going to try and make our way through to Route 5, but from what I know, we gotta find Shauna, which she is just chilling over here if the camera angle will stop being, being silly. And we got to go have a chat with, I think, is it Shauna or Serena? I think we gotta find Serena. And I think she should be with Lysander. Okay, so we gotta go into the studio. Welcome trainer, I haven't seen you around before, is it your first time here? Yes it is my first time here, well I haven't been here in probably like a year since I last played. Let's just go, cool. Just gonna skip along this real quick so we can get back to the story. Yeah, cheers. I like the little green screen in the background, that's pretty cool. Dang. Go Amity, got all these poses though. Look at that stance, ooh. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna see this, go, go away, go away. We need, we need to keep going. This is the green screen in the background. background. Okay, cool. I'm getting out of here. Go! Thanks for nothing, woman. Anyway, goddamn ca camera angle. Alrighty. So, there she is. So, there is Serena. And I know she wants something to do with us. Could you come here for a second? Oh, could you come here for a second, mate? Alright, yeah, here we go. So we got Diantha. Just so you know, neighbor, Lysander is the head of Lysander Labs, which created the Holocaster, a voice messaging device. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what two of them are doing here together. Two famous names, just just chilling in a cafe. What a strange question. Why would I want to play same old roles forever? You may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Damn! Look at Lysander. Look at him. Urgh. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't that your duty? Every like, the thing is, in these like the storyline to this this game, it kind of just drags along, and then it's like, oh hello, Annie. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. She's just like, yeah, Lyson is just like, yeah, I've had my say. See you later. And who are you two? My name's Serena and this is Amity, right? I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Diantha. 
Are you... Uh, oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? Thanks. Thank you, Diantha. Go back to the Elite Four. Pokemon League. It's kind of like, this This section here is like really like useless kind of story, I guess. Like, fair enough, like they know each other and it's just like, okay. Nice scene. They kind of just like talked about something. And that was kind of it. But yeah, so if we keep going further, it should come to a stop somewhere down this way because of the building. Yeah, it could go down there. It could get in there. But let's head on to Route 5. We're going to keep trekking our way through here. Which should be here. Which I love how, like, on the sign, uh, just up above the doorway there, it kind of just says Route 5. Hol Holoclip received. I wonder if, that, like, in Sun and Moon, they're going to have something like this, where, like, you've got your Holocaster. I don't know. Uh, that may be what the watch is. Who knows? Who knows? But, uh... Tiano, so check this out. I'm out on route, route 5 now, and this is... It, it's just hopping with wild Pokemon. H hurry, come and check it out. Okay, I was coming anyway. God damn it, pushy. So, so pushy. Anyway. Let's keep cruising. Ooh, I, I like this guy. He's cool. Hey! Hey! Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard of O Powers? <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't keep doing that voice. Totally suits him though, especially when he gets like... Yeah. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time! <laughs> attack power increases the attack stat and the defense power increases the defense stat. Yes, that is true. That's what I thought. I love his pink suit. That's so cool. Let's get out of here. Okay. Ooh, Lucario. Check that. I love the, um, how they got Lucario kind of like running around. Wait, Lucario. Lucario! Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario. What's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? I'm special, that's right. Uh, well, it seems Lucario likes you. Uh, let's go here. You think so? Yeah, that's something Ash would say. You think so? <laughs> See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shalor City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Get a funny roll with the punches. <laughs> Anyway, so we're on Route 5, also known as Versant Road. Versant Road. Cool. Ooh, so yeah, we have an encounter here. I completely forgot. Ooh, this is interesting. We should definitely get the encounter. But we're going to go for a ride on the skate park first. Skate park, basketball hoop. Dun, 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 dun. So what's this say? Skate park, yeah. Okay. Let's get this encounter. Oh, actually, if you guys didn't notice, in the grinding montage, in that, the grinding montage, uh, in Professor Sycamore's lab, we actually scooped up false swipe, which is very handy when it comes to catching Pokemon. But of course, we have no one that can learn it. So that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, but that's okay. We'll find someone eventually, and that will be very useful in the future. But let's get our encounter. Alrighty. So we have a Bunnelby. So this shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. We're level 11. It's level 8. So we're only just above, like, standard here. But let's go... Let's go for glory. See if we can get that um, 
fast catch. Which we can't, but that's okay. Look at that. That is too easy. The catch rates are way too high. Like, this is just... What a joke. Like, a lot of people would have been stressing, like, just then, like, oh, I gotta get this capture, but it's, like, too easy. Too easy. It's, it has ears like shovels. Digging holes strengthens its ears so much that they can severe thick roots effortlessly. Give a name to Bunnelby. Yes. I think my my little brother likes to call this thing troll lures B because of uh does diggers be I think it was in Phantom Forces maybe or Prime Clash it was like trollers be because he used to always um watch me pull them in the TCG so let's just go with that trollers be. So it is now time to one trade trollers be off. If I I don't even know if I spelled it right, but that's okay. So let's get in, let's go on the internet. And see what we can get for this encounter. Hopefully the internet's working, please be working. Let's grab a drink. Successfully connected to the internet. Nice. Alrighty. Alrighty. It's going to want to trade. We got Trollers Bees. Level 8. It has a bashful nature with the ability to pick up. With Tackle the Jedi, Elia, and Quick Attack. It is a female. And um, let's just have a quick look just before we let it go. So, yeah, it is a neutral nature, ne neutral nature being bashful, is it? Bashful, yeah. Cool. So, anyway, trade. Yes. And let's see if we can get some power from this trade. This is, yeah. So, this is like, we're, we're opening the pack right now in the pack and this is like the ultra hopefully coming up not that regular way we want that ultra maybe that hollow hollow could be right <laughs> no nah. those tcg references though but anyway come on we need straight power even if it's for the pc show show your moves joshua from the united states ohio so does the united states ohio have some power for me today Oh no. Okay. See that's good and that's bad. Variety? Maybe? Variety? That's alright. We'll see we'll see what we can do with Fly Baby if the time comes, but that's definitely going into the box. So no power there. From that one trade. Which is expected. We can't can't always have that hashtag wonder luck but it's level 13 so it is like usable it just, so we got st 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 it is a level 13 flop baby with tackle vine whip fairy wind and lucky chant it is a lonely nature which ups attack and lowers defense so I don't know if that's good or not for fly baby but you know has the ability Flower Veil, which prevents lowering of ally grass types Pokemon's attacks. Okay. Anyway. So let's throw that in the box. Let's just dash back quickly. Just because my OCD is like, I have to get rid of that ASAP. Let's go. I never could find my way through Lumio City. Hey, it took me forever. I like had to do just laps of just like finding the, where everything was. When I I remember when I last played it, it was just yeah, such a mess. So huge. It's just so huge. It's caught with a quick ball, but yeah, deposit. 
deposit. So we haven't lost anyone yet, so that's a good thing. But um, I'm still waiting for that day where we uh, where I play and I just make the biggest mistake and we we lose someone. But it's good to know that we've got some um some power in the PC. We got Flare waiting there. We've got uh, Remoraid. And then we've got Fla Bebe now. So let's get through here. Cool, so we've got about four more minutes left in this episode, so let's see what we can do. People say we're like two peas in a pod, they say we're like two halves of a hole. Okay. True. Look at the little little Pikachu plushies. They got huge cheeks, like I don't know. Twins Faith and Joy. Alrighty. So good. Well, it's not good to have Taylor out right now. So I'll Flame Wheel plus all. And let's just swap out just to be safe. Go to Gibble. Just gotta play it safe. Make the right calls. And we should be sweet. Helping hand. Flame body though. Flame body though. Get the burn. That animation though, I love it. That chip damage. Alrighty, so we'll just flame well again on the plus all and then Gibble should be able to take this out one hit with a Dragon Rage. Let's go. Laters. Level 12, making some steady progress here. Level 15, so Gibble's definitely repping the team right now, being the highest level for sure. Takedown. This could be useful. Sandstorm's nice. But nah. We'll go, we'll go all offensive. I usually, if someone wants to trade with me, go away. <laughs> go away, don't. I don't trade with anyone. Level 14. All these levels though, god, the boosted, the boosted XP is going to ruin me right now. We go from like being on par to just being like way ahead, I can already, I can already see it. But cool. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> these levels though. I did like how Taylor got XP for every Pokemon that was on the field as well. It wasn't just Plusle then. But nice. So what's it say? Trainer tips. There are some buttons that are that could come really. Yeah, I definitely know that already. Thank you. Skiddo. Look, Ponyta though. Oh, flame body, man. This is crazy. Like, that's... That's gonna come in so much late. Like, that is going to be so useful. In the future, I can already see it. I can already see it. But let's go. Let's, um... Pick up this item. I knew that there had to be something down here. But alrighty, 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 no, nothing in that corner, alrighty, my goodness, and that's where we're going to end the episode, so we're heading on to the next part of the story, um, so yeah, today we got, we got a little bit done, we, um, we made our way out of Lumia City, crushed a bit of Route, Route 5, and we've hit here, so yeah, not a bad episode, if you guys enjoyed episode 7 of our Pokemon Y Wonder Lock, be sure to drop a like down below 
and I look forward to seeing you guys in episode number 8 or another one of my Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.